the news. Yeah, for so many, a sigh of relief on a lot of fronts. Eric, thank you for your coverage in D.C. today. Now, Representative Jane Schakowsky, she was at today's inauguration. She represents the north side of Chicago and the northern suburbs, and she uh, actually tweeted out this picture this morning saying, perfect day, new beginning. Representative Jan Schakowsky joins us now live from D.C. to talk about this historic day. Representative, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's really an honor. Thank you. Well, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, today, there was a lot of talk about unity. Swearing in of the first woman of color, a very diverse ceremony today, probably one of the most diverse that we have seen. What was it like for you to be there, despite the security, despite what went on there on January 6th, but to be there on this historic day uh, after such a tumultuous uh, presidency the last four years? I. I found the President of the United States, Joe Biden, soothing. It was the kind of balm that I needed to hear, that this is somebody who understands the pain that so many Americans are feeling, not just COVID, but loss of jobs, putting food on the table, and was prepared to answer that. And to do it in a way that would unite people, stop the name calling, stop the division, that we've seen for so long. And I have to tell you, I felt safer when he took that oath of office. And I knew that we didn't any longer have a president that had the nuclear codes in his pocket and who, know, who knew what he would do. So I think that this is a fabulous day. We saw all those executive orders. So the president has hit the ground running. Congresswoman, I, I want to get your take on, on how uh, the body moves forward here. But, um, you know, we watched the inauguration live here on, on, on WGN all, all day long here. Uh, was there a particular moment that really stood out for you? You talked about the soothing, um, you know, feeling that uh, that you, you took from there. But was there a moment there? Was it uh, somebody who took to the podium, uh, words that were shared, or some moment that uh, you'll take with you? Well, certainly when I saw Kamala Harris uh, a, a woman who has broken so many different black uh, uh, ceilings um, that um, it was a particularly moving moment for me. Um, I was there when Geraldine Ferraro was nominated so many years ago. And since then, nothing in the way of uh, a woman at the head of this country. And it's been about time, and we're so happy to see that. And she swore in three new senators today, and now the Senate is controlled by uh, the, the Democrats. So it all felt like forward movement. Did it matter, do you think, that the 45th president wasn't there? Did you expect him to come? Certainly not. Um, no, and the fact that so many of the others and the vice president of the United States, Trump's vice president was, was there. Um, that was, I thought, an important symbol. And hopefully um, we're not going to see much of him, of Trump again. Hmm. I'm, I'm looking forward to that, too. You mentioned the, uh, the executive orders that President Biden uh, signed today. Are there a couple of note that uh, you're most uh, focused on or excited about? Well, we joined the world again today. Um, we're back on the uh, climate uh, accord, the uh, Paris Accord. We're back with the World Health Organization, and Tony Fauci will be representing us, us there. And then I think when it comes to uh, immigration, the the Dreamers are now are now certainly protected. Ended the uh, continued the moratorium on foreclosures and um, for and and for and uh, so many things that are going to help ordinary people, and that's what I think the theme of this day was that help is on the way is something that Joe Biden had said a number of times, and help is on the way in reality now with these executive orders, and then also he is going to bring the Citizenship Act to uh, the Congress to, to pass that would create an eight-year pathway to citizenship for the millions and millions of Americans. And this is that are not doc that are undocumented right now, a big deal certainly for our community, for the city of Chicago and the state of Illinois. Mm -hmm. And what were your thoughts on the words spoken by 22-year-old Amanda Gorman, the poet? Um, 
it took her a while to to put those words together. And on January 6th, she had it finished, but it had to add some more words after the um, insurrection at the Capitol. Yes, she mentioned that. I was thinking she had last minute uh, changes that were so powerful and so hopeful and included that we have to be the actors that are changing the, the, the world. But she did it in such a positive and inspiring way. I thought it was fabulous. She was fabulous. Congresswoman, an important day, and we were glad to have you with us this evening to reflect back on it. So we're very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Be so safe. Much. Be well. You, you too. Thanks. Well, the Chicago Teachers Union's governing body.